Hi guys, I hope that you're having a fabulous day. How about a little Chanel eye candy? Today I want to discuss some of Chanel's current handbags, share my thoughts on them, and categorize them between love it or leave it. Also, at the end of this video, I want to talk a little bit about some of their pieces for their Cruise 2020-2021 collection that they recently shared on social media. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? I thought that I would start off with a handbag that I consider to be the best looking one that they currently have, and that is the Houndstooth Classic Flap. I think that this bag is ridiculously, ridiculously gorgeous. I know a lot of people don't feel that way. I know a lot of people feel that it's very busy. It's very in your face. Uh, there are so many details. There are so many aspects that I absolutely love. First and foremost, the fact that it is tweed and tweed is signature to the fashion house. Then you have the houndstooth pattern that is timeless and you have that on top of a classic flap. I feel like I feel like this bag just kind of stands out on its own. It also comes with a black leather lining, which I absolutely love. That way it doesn't take away from the exterior. And speaking about that exterior, the details that it has, you have Chanel ribbon kind of woven meticulously throughout that I think just makes it uh, that much more beautiful. But you have black and white. It's a classic flap. You have gold hardware. It just screams Chanel. And and I know that they do have an entire line of houndstooth. They also have a couple pouches, if I'm not mistaken, and a clutch, which I think are beautiful. Uh, but for me personally, this bag just completely stands out. I just don't feel that this pattern ends up dating the bag either. Just because of all of the classic and all of the timeless features that it has, uh, I think that 50 years from now, this bag will still be incredibly fabulous. So in my opinion, love it or leave it till the end of time. Love it. Now for a bag that has taken the handbag scene by storm, the Chanel 19. I know that it's been around for a little while now, and over the last couple of weeks, over the last couple of months, they've started to incorporate different colors, different sizes, as well as different materials. Those materials being jersey, tweed, and denim. And again, the fact that they do have different colors. Currently, they have the pink, the mint, and the tan, which I think is wonderful. So you have a lot of variety to pick from. And I remember that when this bag first came out, I thought it was very unique because it's spacious, it's comfortable, and the fact that it has the mixed metal I think just gives it a lot more personality. It gives it a type of edginess without it being too in your face or too overwhelming. So I thought that was great as well. Now with all of that said, I do have an unpopular opinion when it comes to the Chanel 19 and it might get a lot of hate for it, but personally it is not for me. And it really comes down to the quilts. I feel like the quilts are just a little too big. They're a little too puffy, um, especially when it comes to the leather. I think that it really kind of takes away from the bag. Uh, I don't feel that this bag will end up aging well as time goes by. I think that the quilts might end up flattening out. I could be wrong. Only time will tell, uh, but that's honestly how I feel. If I was to pick a material for this handbag, I would honestly have to say the tweed. I think that the mixed metal kind of enhances it. I know a lot of people might think that it might make it that much busier just because you have a lot going on, but I definitely don't see it that way. Uh, but just when it comes to the leather, I feel like it just kind of, I don't know, there's, there's a part of me that feels that it ends up kind of dating the bag, and I don't see it as a classic. I don't think that this bag will be here in 10 years time. Again, I could be wrong, but the fact that it is so spacious, it is comfortable, and you have a variety to pick from, I think that's what ultimately makes this bag so incredibly popular. So for me, between love it or leave it, yeah, definitely leave it. Onto a bag that has caused a major buzz on social media, that is the small vanity with a classic chain. This item is available in a variety of different colors and it comes in at $15.50 here in the States and I think it is so incredibly cute. Uh, I have seen so many videos of how people end up packing this bag and even though it's small, it's very misleading because it actually fits a lot more than you might think, which I think is wonderful. It is a little bit on the shorter side, so if you do have larger small leather goods, it might be a little bit harder to close it. So so you have to go a little bit more compact. So I just want to throw that out there just in case. But um, I think it is so, so, so beautiful. I like the fact that it is the caviar leather, so it makes it a little bit more durable. And uh, because it has created such a buzz, I honestly think that this item will be around for a long, long time. And they're going to start to incorporate other colors and maybe other type of hardware as well. Um, but I don't know. I, I think it's super, super cute. Another thing that I've heard people talk about is that they find it to be a little bit fussy just because it does have the side opening instead of it having like a top opening or what have you. So I also wanted to throw that out there just in case. 
as I had mentioned previously, it comes in at $15.50 here in the States, and I don't think it has a crazy price point either. I honestly anticipated it being within the $2,000 range, somewhere along those lines, but when I saw it was $15.50, it was a welcome surprise uh, because it's a lot friendlier, especially for the type of materials that you're getting. But I think that, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's just because I love vanities and <laughs> I'm always attracted to them, but I like a good vanity for sure. <laughs> and uh, you know, when you have something that already comes with the strap that allows you to use it as a handbag, I think is just a win-win. So love it or leave it, absolutely love it. Moving on to a bag with a whole lot of personality, the camera case. Now, some of you guys might look at me funny and some of you guys might think I'm crazy, but I am obsessed with this bag. I think it is just incredibly fantastic. I love the fact that you have different types of texture. You have lambskin, you have tweed, you have that gold hardware. I think that everything works out perfectly. And to me, this bag kind of gives off those 90s vibes. To me, it has those clueless vibes. Like I can picture Cher Horowitz using this bag type of thing. And I'm here for it. I am absolutely here for it. I know some people think that this bag is so incredibly hideous, but I just think, I, I think it's such a fun bag, you know? And the, also the fact that it looks like it's crazy comfortable. It looks like it doesn't dig into your skin. It's still quite spacious. It's not like this ginormous bag and it's not like uber small either, which I can definitely appreciate. And it comes in at $3,400. So I don't think it has a ridiculously insane price point for the materials that it has either. So I, I, I'm a fan. I am a, such a big fan. And they have had so many different uh, tweed handbags come out within the last couple of weeks, within the last couple of months, and I'm digging them. I am totally digging them. I feel like whenever I think of tweed, I automatically think of Chanel and I think of lambskin. And the fact that this has both, oh yeah, <laughs> I think it's wonderful. So love it or leave it, hands down, love it. This next bag I have mad, mad love for, and that is the Deauville. You guys have heard me talk about the Deauville many of times. I love the fact that it is a tote. It is very spacious. Not only that, the fact that it also has a lot of versatility in how you can end up using it because of the different straps. So I think that's wonderful. Uh, but I love the colors that they chose for this current season. I think that the linen looks incredible. You do have that darker leather for the handle and you have that beautiful canvas. And uh, usually when it comes to the Deauville, I do prefer a type of contrast where it says Chanel Paris, but this time they went for imitation pearls. And I think that it just really enhances the beauty of the bag. I don't think that it makes it too busy. I don't think that it makes it too in your face. It's a subtle type of beauty that I definitely appreciate. And then they also have it in the black. The black has uh, the silver hardware, and of course you have the, the leather as well. And again, I think that both of these are insanely, insanely beautiful. I will have to admit that if you do end up wearing a lot of dark colored clothing, uh, or if you wear a lot of denim, you might end up seeing color transfer on the linen one a little bit more. So that's something to keep in the back of your mind. Uh, I also have to throw this out there. It comes in at $3,500. I feel like when it comes to the Deauville, even though I have mad love for it, the price is kind of getting to be a little bit crazy because you, I mean, you really have a tiny bit of leather. You have imitation pearls. I mean, they're plastic, right? And then you have a lot of canvas. And I feel like with the, with the constant price increases, what's next? Is it going to be like 3,800, 3,900 for, for a cloth bag? I think that's, I think that's, um, you know, that's, that's kind of pushing it. That's kind of pushing it. I mean, I'm sorry. I have to be honest. Uh, I think that if they incorporated more leather, uh, because they do have a leather Deauville. Uh, I think that the, the, the price might warrant it instead of it having, you know, plastic or just cloth or what have you. Uh, but I'm not trying to take anything away from them. I do think that they are insanely, insanely beautiful, especially uh, the ones that they have for this current season. I just can't take my eyes off of the linen one or the black one for that matter, just because um, I just think it's a, it's a beautiful marriage of textures and colors, and it's not too in your face, it's not too busy, so I definitely appreciate that. But I got—I mean, I got to be honest with you—that price point for the materials that they are is is getting is getting a little bit crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so um, between love it or leave it, I love it, but I don't know how much longer I can love it for the materials that they have. If that makes any sense. This next bag might surprise some of you guys, and I am talking about the large lambskin hobo. This bag is also available in a smaller size, and I got to tell you, I absolutely love it. I think it is just incredibly, incredibly beautiful. 
And trust me, I never thought that I would say that about another hobo, mostly because, I mean, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I've had hobos in the past and they never end up working out for me. They drive me nuts, usually because of the uh, the strap. It's always just kind of in the middle and I feel like it makes it a little bit fussy to retrieve my items or to take them out. And it's not, it's not something that I can easily see my items at a glance because it's always there. But the fact that you can end up detaching that larger strap and you still have another chain strap to use on your shoulder, I think that's genius. Now I know that a lot of people feel very strongly about this bag. Some people <laughs> think that it is incredibly hideous and to each their own. But I think that the fact that you have, I mean, you essentially have two bags in one and the fact that you can end up detaching that so that way you can see your items at a glance, I think that's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. The lambskin looks incredible. And that's another thing when it comes to hobos, another reason why they end up driving me nuts is because they turn into that beautiful mess. They don't really have a whole lot of structure. But with this one, um, I, I, like, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it, kind of like right here. I think that when, when I saw that picture, the, the way that it was just kind of like leaned over, I was like, yeah, I'm kind of digging it. <laughs> I'm kind of digging it. I know I probably sound like a lunatic just based on everything that I've said in the past, but I think it's gorgeous. And the price point that it has definitely caught me by surprise only because I expected it to be a lot more considering that it is an all leather handbag. I mean, you have some other bags that the, that the Fashion House has, kind of like the Deauville that I just talked about, it's mostly canvas and that's 3,500. So for another 400, uh, it's not as big, but still it's an all leather bag that also has versatility to it. So I am a huge fan and it also has the CC at the bottom. I will insert a picture of it so you guys can check it out. So. I, I think it's beautiful. I think it is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So love it or leave it, definitely love it. All right, so this next bag, I don't know the official name of it. I've heard it called uh, a couple different things, but on the website, it just says flat bag. And this is the large version. There is also a smaller version. Now I've seen a lot of sales associates pushing this bag and I kind of feel 50-50 on it. Uh, I do like the structure that it has. Uh, I like the versatility because you do have a top handle and you also have a longer strap so that way you can use it as a crossbody bag or on your shoulder, which I think is wonderful. The interior looks awesome. It looks like it's very, very spacious. Um, but even with that said, I'm just not too fond of the mixed metal. I think if they would have just stuck to one type of metal, it would have made it look, it would have made it look a little bit better. And instead of either the ruthenium or the gold hardware, I think that this bag would look best in the silver hardware. I think that it makes it look a little bit more casual. Um, not saying that silver hardware isn't something that you can dress up by any means whatsoever. I just think that when it comes to this style, when it comes to this silhouette, uh, it it does have a little bit more of a casual feel to it in my opinion. So with the silver hardware, I think it would have um, it would have just maybe stood out a little bit more. And it does end up featuring the gold leather lining, which I think is awesome. And that's not something that you see too often when it comes to a seasonal handbag from Chanel, because usually they do end up having fabric instead of the leather. So I think that's great, um, you know. But uh, I definitely feel that with this bag, it might I might have maybe sung a little bit more if it was just one type of hardware instead of it being two. So I'm still 50/50. Uh, but even with that said, if I had to choose between love it or leave it, I'm gonna have to leave it. Next up, some caviar minis with matching hardware. I think that these are so incredibly beautiful. When I first saw them, I instantly fell in love. I know that they're not everyone's cup of tea, but I think that they're great. I love the fact that it's a spin on the square mini because uh, you do have a strip of leather at the very top of the strap, so that way uh, you have a little bit more comfort when you go to use this bag either as a crossbody bag or on your shoulder, so I think that's great. And uh, of course, because it is the caviar leather, it makes it that much more durable, that much more care free but overall just the fact that it's just one color that the that the that the metal ends up matching the the color of the bag i think it's beautiful i love the pink i am obsessed with the black i even like the blue and you guys know i'm not really a blue person i could have sworn i saw a green am i am i crazy there's a green out there right Maybe, maybe I saw that in my, in my mind. I don't know, but <laughs> I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I saw green. I even like the green too, but I just think that this is so, so beautiful and the pictures don't do it justice because I did get a chance to see um, a video of it that a sales associate sent me and it just looks absolutely incredible, absolutely incredible. And I really hope that Chanel ends up doing this a lot more often with other bags or maybe larger bags uh, because they 
even incorporated it into some of the small leather goods and I think that those are fabulous as well. So huge, huge fan. So when it comes to the mini, the, the, the caviar minis with the matching hardware, absolutely love it. Moving on to the North South boy bag. Now I know that the silhouette has been around for a little bit and when it was first introduced, if I'm not mistaken, it was in the quilted detail, not with the chevron. Personally, I do prefer the chevron when it comes to this bag, just because I think that it gives it a completely different look and it makes it look a little bit more chic. Now, if there's one thing that I really appreciate about this North South design is the fact that it seems like the strap uh, isn't gonna have a mind of its own as it does with the regular boy bag, which I absolutely love. You guys know I kind of, um, I kind of had a struggle with that. I know not everyone has, but I definitely did. Uh, but I feel like because of the north-south design, it doesn't seem like it's gonna spin around and uh, you won't have issues whether you go to use it on your shoulder or as a crossbody bag, so I think that's wonderful. Now, even with that said, um, you know, I'm still not 100% sold on this silhouette and it's mostly because of the compartments. I think that the compartments, even though they don't look like they're super, super narrow, I feel like if you end up carrying a little bit more with you, it might make the compartments compartments very bulky very quickly and then you might end up seeing those lumps and bumps on the side. I think that if they would have just done one compartment, um, I think that you'd have a little bit more play with the items that you wanted to carry, whether you carried a little bit more or a little bit less. Again, you didn't have to worry that uh, the items were going to necessarily um, look like they're kind of protruding off to the sides or anything like that. You know, I could be wrong. And for those of you that do have the North-South uh, boy bag, uh, let us know if the compartments are a lot more spacious than the way that it looks on pictures or the way that it looks um, in videos. But, um, you know, I can appreciate so many different details of this bag, as I said before, when it comes to the chevron detailing, I think that it's absolutely gorgeous. I think that it really just makes the bag stand out. Um, and, you know, it's. I still think that this is a bag that's very easy to dress up and dress down. However, and it's not because I had a love-hate relationship with a boy bag, not at all. Um, I'm still just not 100% sold on the way this looks. I feel like I feel like it's missing something. I feel like it's missing the other half of the boy bag. And it could be just because I'm so used to seeing the regular boy bag that it looks like it's <laughs> that it's missing pieces off of it. Um, but uh, I definitely think that the north south design uh, works out best when it comes to that when it comes to that strap. That way, it just doesn't go spinning off or <laughs> or anything like that. So uh, when it comes to the north south boy bag. Um, I, I do think that it has some pretty cool features, but I'm gonna have to leave it. All right, so the last bag is for my fellow magpies, and uh, that is a mini flat bag. So this one is available in the fuchsia as well as uh, the blue, and I think that this is insanely beautiful because it's made of crystals, it has a uh, fabric on the interior, and of course you have the beautiful gold hardware. Um, and as I've said, you guys know how much I love anything shiny, anything sparkly, especially when it comes to a crystal. And I just think that this is just absolutely stunning. Now, having said that, the size of this bag is, <laughs> I mean, it's tiny, it is tiny. It is 4.3 inches in length, it is 2.7 inches in height, and one inch in depth. That is a small bag. And the price point is $3,400 if I'm not mistaken. Um, but to me, this is a work of art. I know some people are going to disagree with me, but again, just the work that goes into the beading of this bag and the way that it looks, I think is just, it is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. But again, I just wanted to share it with you. So even though I do love it, uh, just based on the size alone. Uh, and it's not that I'm trying to judge, uh, you know, a book by its cover because we've all talked about how some of these small bags definitely do end up uh, carrying a lot more than you would think. Uh, but with this one, I feel like for the $3,400 price point and the size that it has, it's not, it's not one that I personally would end up justifying, but it's one that I will most certainly end up drooling over from afar. But uh, again, I just had to share that one with you guys. All right, now on to their Cruise 2020-2021 collection. These are just some of the pieces that they showcased. If you wanna see everything, make sure and go onto their website or check out their Instagram page, but these are just some of the ones that I wanted to highlight. Now, as of this recording, unfortunately, there are no prices for these pieces either, and there are no official names, although with some of them, we will know just based on the silhouette. All right, so the very first one is yet another hobo. I know, here I am talking about hobos, <laughs> but um, when I first saw this bag, 
I automatically thought, no, absolutely not. And then within seconds, I changed my mind and I was like, you know what? I kind of like it. I love how big it is. It looks like it's crazy comfortable, crazy spacious. I will have to admit that the pattern that it has on the outside kind of reminds me of like concrete steps on top of grass. You know how like when the grass starts to kind of uh, grow over the step, that's kind of like what this reminds me of. But even with that said, I still kind of like it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, I can only imagine the price point that this might, this might might have it might be right around the same as a Deauville um, who knows you know so maybe around the 3500 maybe 3800 at most I really can't picture this bag being any more than 4000 um, I just I mean I don't know you know only only time will tell but I kind of like it um, but even with that said even though I can appreciate how spacious it looks and how comfortable it might be I think it's one of those bags that I like from afar or I like the idea of it but when push comes to shove I don't think it's something that I would end up using but <laughs> I definitely definitely think it is beautiful this next one has got to be my favorite from the entire collection check this beauty out oh my goodness when I saw it my jaw hit the floor I was like oh this is beautiful you guys know how I feel about a white handbag and the fact that they paired it with the black hardware I think just makes for an awesome combination to me this just screams Chanel I love the fact that they have that chunky uh, that chunky chain I think that it really adds more beauty to the uh, to the handbag um, if I had to guess I think that this handbag will probably be priced around the five thousand dollar mark maybe maybe 5,200 at most. Uh, although I wouldn't be surprised if it's a little bit more, but I am just, I, I think it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And, um, I can't wait and I, I can only imagine if they end up uh, releasing small leather goods as well uh, like maybe a uh, o zip coin purse or an o pouch or what have you I think with this combination would look fabulous all right so this next one uh, is a Chanel 19 and um, the one on the left as you guys can see has a sequence I don't know if they're gonna release other colors uh, besides the salmon looking one and then the one on the right it looks like it's white lambskin and it has um, the black stitching on top. I could be wrong. It's a little bit hard to tell from uh, from the picture from the video, um, but. I really, I mean, I really like the one on the right, um, but still, I don't know if I'm necessarily there when it comes to the, you know, to the Chanel 19 bag. And as far as the one on the left, I mean, you guys know I am a magpie through and through, and I like a good sequence just as much as the next person, but I feel like maybe it's a little too much on that big of a bag. I think that if they ended up um, adding the sequence on either a, a wallet on chain for the Chanel 19, or if they made like a mini version, of the Chanel 19 with this uh, with this type of detail, I think it would look absolutely fabulous. Um, but I just don't know if it, if I necessarily like it on that big of a bag. So for these two, I do think that they're beautiful, and I do like the contrast of the hardware with the sequence one, uh, as well as with the black and white. Um, but I think these are ones that I'm gonna have to appreciate from afar. Those are just some of the ones that I wanted to showcase. I think that they have so many fun pieces that are coming out, and I really like that. It seems like they had a lot of fun with different textures and different um, different details, you know? So um, I'm just, I'm really excited to see about some of the small leather goods that they might incorporate with this collection. So the majority of these pieces, I'm definitely, definitely feeling. All right, you guys, that does it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I'm curious, how do you feel about some of these pieces? Are you feeling them? Are you not feeling them? Whatever the case may be, let us know in the comment section down below. But again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not, the choice is yours. Have a great day.